I am humbled, honored, and deeply appreciative of being granted one of the rarest opportunities to serve the people of my state, my home, and that of my forefathers, South Carolina. Good evening. South Carolina has a new governor tonight. The U.S. Senate confirmed Nikki Haley as U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. After her confirmation, Haley resigned as governor, and within minutes, Lieutenant Governor Henry McMaster was sworn in as the new governor. Capitol reporter Robert Kittle was there. He's joining us now live from the State House. And Robert, this day signals big changes in South Carolina. Definitely big changes, Tom. And while we do have a new governor tonight, we do not have a lieutenant governor right now. That's expected to change tomorrow. As now former governor Nikki Haley said one last goodbye to South Carolina, she welcomed Henry McMaster to his new role as governor. My prayers are with you and all of the people in South Carolina. My best wishes are with you. I will always have one eye on South Carolina and I will always just be a phone call away. But it is an absolute privilege and honor to turn over the reins for you today. So congratulations. With that, State Supreme Court Chief Justice Don Beatty swore in the state's new leader. Exercise the duties of the office of government. First, he paid tribute to Nikki Haley. We swell with pride as a daughter of our great state takes her place in our nation's stage. You have done a splendid job, and we will never forget you, and we look forward to seeing you back here often. Governor McMaster is known for his love of the state and its people and signaled an optimistic tone for his administration. Great prosperity, success, and happiness will be ours and we will serve as a beacon of inspiration for others. We will do our best, and we will be our best. About half an hour before Haley was confirmed as ambassador, State Senator Hugh Leatherman turned in his resignation as president pro tem. That's who would automatically become lieutenant governor, but Leatherman says he doesn't want to leave his Senate seat. That means the office of lieutenant governor is vacant, but he said there will be a vote Wednesday for a new president pro tem. Anderson Senator Kevin Bryant appears to have the votes to win that post and become lieutenant governor. Then Senator Leatherman is expected to run to be president pro tem again. That's not a done deal, though. Senator Harvey Peeler from Gaffney told me tonight that he plans to run for president pro tem against Leatherman, and he's urging voters to call their senators to ask them to uphold the Constitution. I asked him what he means by that. He said the Constitution is clear that the president pro tem is supposed to step in as lieutenant governor. And since Leatherman stepped down from that post just so he wouldn't have to become lieutenant governor, he's gaming the system, and he thinks that's, thinks that's wrong. Live in Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News.